Um, welcome back to the show, everyone. I thought that we haven't done this kind of like sit down, try out stuff, talk, do fun things for um, for a little bit. So I thought that I would take this opportunity to do that today. Um, so as you guys know, I, I love going into random grocery stores and finding things that I have never eaten, tried before, and I like to try them. Today we're going to be trying out five different spices that I got from the Indian uh, Bangladeshi grocery store. And so I picked five different spices today that are um, pretty unique to me that I haven't necessarily cooked with before. These spices are not necessarily just like Indian spices. The key for me here is to hopefully describe the flavor to you guys well enough so that uh, if it does interest you, you can go out and purchase it and then, you know, sprinkle it over different things that you guys make um, at home. I have a little bit of rice because someone had told me before when I was doing a taste test, like, why am I just tasting this stuff and not putting it over what it's supposed to be uh, put over? And I have some water here. Um, I'm gonna be washing five different spoons today. Uh, okay, so let's let's start with the first one. The first one is going to be um, something called amla powder, and it is Indian uh, gooseberries. It is normally green in color. It looks very much like um, a plum. It's a superfood used in Ayurvedic medicine for uh, treating everything from diarrhea to jaundice. But one thing that apparently it's really known for is if you make a paste out of this and spread it onto your hair, it's apparently really good for hair regrowth. Um, and they think that it might be because of like a, it's very high in vitamin E. Um, it's, it's used in um, pickles, candies, chutney. Uh, you can make a drink out of it. Um, but what I tended to see a lot of recipes used was actually fresh uh, gooseberries, but this is kind of the powdered form. <laughs> Smell wise, it's actually a little bit um, a woodsy, it's a little bit herbally, and just a little bit tangy as well, I guess. Let's do this, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have this just by itself first, and then I'll, I'll put it in with some water for tea. I'm gonna put it into tea. Um, so, it is tangy, uh, so, so the beginning bit of it, it was actually, it was quite bitter because it was very like, it was kind of a little bit like ground up wood because it is very herbally, just a little bit bitter. Um, kind of like, if you guys have ever had like dandelion root before, like a, for like a detox drink or something, it has that herbally woodsy note at the beginning. It's a little bit bitter and then it ends with it being a little bit acidic and a little bit tangy, but in a plum prune kind of way. The water mellows it out a little bit. I can, I can see that this could be a really nice drink because it's really high in antioxidants as well. So the water kind of takes away a little bit of that initial like bitter woodsy flavor, but you still get a little bit of the tang. So the next one that I have is do you guys know what this is? Do you guys know what this is? You're like, oh, dried mango? No, no, this is fresh mace. And I mean, mace, you guys will know from like the sprays and whatnot. So what mace is, is um, uh, so there's a nutmeg tree. Nutmeg tree with a nutmeg fruit. Your nutmeg is the, like the pit of the fruit, very much like an almond, very much like um, what apricots will have, and there'll be like a pit in the center. Surrounding each of these nutmegs are, is this like web, web coating? So, you know, typically it's, it's this guy, and then this is like wrapped like a little monster all around it. Um, <laughs> and how it's being described to me, I've never had fresh mace before. I don't even think, probably shouldn't have done that. I've never had fresh mace before. Um, it is supposed to be a lighter, gentler nutmeg. So any a place where you'd put nutmeg, but you want it to be a little bit more gentle, maybe put some of this. Um, it's supposed to have hints of coriander, citrus, cinnamon. 
it looks like there's some fruit dishes that you would put it in um, if you do eat meat like lighter meats like a fish or a chicken because it is the flavor is not as strong um, can cause hallucinations but not enough evidence to, to kind of show that so don't don't eat it too much um, and then because of the you guys can see because of the color of this um, it also gives uh, an orange hue to things so you can use it to season rice delicate things like broth um, potatoes um, it's used also in kind of like spice mixes as well I wasn't sure about eating this and I wasn't sure how to do this so I I put one of the mace in water already just to soften it up a little bit in terms of smell first To me, it kind of smells like licorice. There is something kind of like gently spicy about it. There's something sweet about it. Licorice-y, let's see. Do I, hints of coriander, citrus, cinnamon? I mean, <laughs> I think for a lot of spices, there are hints of those. Nutmeg has that like, um, like kind of like minty, winter green kind of like oomph. So for sure it is stronger. I do s smell a bit of this into this. Um, I'm really not sure if I'm just supposed to be eating it like this. Maybe I should have it with some rice. I kind of want to just eat it as a piece of it. I see where this I see where these hints are from um, ooh, and it's spicy at the end um, for sure the citrus came through 100% um, only it kind of because of like the herbaliness it tastes a little bit bitter as well it, it kind of reminds me of something like very medicinal um, I don't know like it like an orange elixir or something let me just have it with some rice But I wish I didn't read this beforehand. I guess hints of coriander, sure, but for sure the citrus came through loudly. <laughs> On the bottom it says, my notes say, don't eat too much. Yeah, so that's, that's mace. <laughs> I am not doing a good job of this, but I am sure that it would be amazing in rice and for seasonings like broth because when you put it into food, there's all of these other flavors that kind of mellow it out or that complements it better, right? So just just know that this has kind of like citrus and um, like herbly spicy notes to it. <laughs> my third one is um, my third one is sumac. So sumac, you guys, I'm sure everybody's heard of it. You can use it in Greek cooking as well. It's um, it's an Indian cooking too. It's supposed to have a lemony flavor. It comes from like kind of these small, uh, small trees. And people compare it to tamarind and they'll use it in rubs, marinades, dressings. Um, I know in the States we use it for lemonade. I've seen beer companies use sumac as well. And it is usually, it is best sprinkled right before the food is served. So uh, it is not cooked at all. Um, in Arabic cooking, let's see, sprinkle over hummus. Persians do a sprinkling over rice or kebabs. Um, I am just going to put it on rice, I guess. Typically sprinkle it right into my mouth. I'm not gonna do that this time. Mmm. Okay. The sumac is definitely tangy. Um, I think I read somewhere that instead of putting in lemon juice, sometimes they'll sprinkle this over. Again, it's not a, it's not a flavor that hits you right away until it kind of meshes into your tongue, I guess. Um, but it starts off, I'd say the flavor is tangy, but again, in a pruney sort of way, maybe because it's dried already. So... So it's not outrightly like bright citrus, but towards the end, as you have it in your mouth longer, you'll, there are like these little bits of like, like an acidic substance. So it's, it's, it's bright in that way. My fourth one is Amcor powder. So this is one where I have wanted to try it for a really long time now. And it is a dried green mango powder. So green mango is just normal mango, but um, at an unripened state. 
and I don't know if you guys I don't know if you guys have tried unripened mangoes before. I don't think that I've eaten it necessarily in like a super green state, but unripe mangoes are so much better than ripe mangoes because by the time they're ripe they're like super kind of uh, sweet the flesh is super soft but if you have them before they get that way they still have a really strong mango flavor that's not just like clouded by all of the sweetness but the texture is is springy like I don't I don't want to say meaty but it's like it's different so you guys should definitely, like don't wait until your mangoes get ripe. Definitely um, try them when they're not, like a week beforehand or something. North Indian cooking uses it a lot in uh, marinades, curries, chutneys, uh, soups, and then also as thickeners. So um, Northern Indian cuisine uses a lot more dairy, uses a lot more yogurt, and this is able to add tang without adding <coughs> moisture. <coughs> Um, also adding in the last stages of cooking, so very much like the sumac, um, probably just like a little bit of acid towards the end. Uh, different recipes, so you have the Punjabi, uh, is it cold? So it's a chickpea stew. Um, there is the Ramja, which is a kidney bean curry. You can put it into um, aloo paratha, so like a, like a potato uh, filled uh, flatbread as the, at the end. Yeah, okay, so I'm just gonna try it. Whoa! That was an immediate sour. Like that was sour. Like this was sour, but like you had to wait a little bit for it to like, like melt into your tongue. Um, the amla was like light. This was sour. I don't think it tastes like mango per se. I don't. Maybe it, it's just not at a ripe enough state where it's mango-y. Try it with rice. It's so sour. It is actually sour. But mm, again, it's not necessarily as like pungent or like powerful as let's say fresh lemon juice, but it is quite there. I think because it's dried, it, it has a little bit of a different mouthfeel. Um, marinades, curries. Yeah, like for sure, anything that you needed to add some brightness to. Um, this, is really, <laughs> this is really sour. I bet this would be really good in a tea as well. Um, yeah, okay. Yeah, that's, that's, that's the Amcor powder. Okay, so last one. Last one is my favorite. I have tried this one before, but I know that a lot of people haven't, but it's my favorite. So um, the last one comes usually in really, really small bottles, and it is called Asafoetida or Hing. And oh my gosh, Asafoetida is my favorite. I don't even think I should be eating so much of it, but it is a, it is a gum, it is like a, like a resin, like a gum that develops from the root of the ferula herb. And the ferula herb is like the fatita plant. So it, basically a gum that develops on top of a, on top of the root. And it is usually used for aiding in digestion, um, bloating, it has anti-inflammatory properties. But it does say that hang, <clears throat> has the potential of interrupting with like blood pressure medication or your blood pressure or whatnot. So I guess kind of look into this, although you never put too much of this in um, anyways. And usually you can put it into curries, potatoes, um, seafood, usually a pinch uh, will do just like with any spice. But if you like the taste of roasted garlic, roasted onions, and, and that kind of like roasty flavor, this is exactly it. This is like roasted garlic, roasted onions in a bottle. So this, what I usually use it for is um, in dolls, in like kind of lentil stews. I will put a pinch of it kind of at the beginning, but then I'll also put a pinch of it at the end too, because it just, um, the, the flavors are so amazing. Like you guys know, if you add, you know, like a smashed garlic or some garlic powder or some onion powder to something, it just makes it uber savory. But because this has that roasted, like roasted garlic flavor, it makes it, um, rich and deep as well. It adds like an extra level of just like really nice uh, depth 
So I'm going to try it on some rice. You can already smell it. Oh, you can already smell it, it smells so good. Mm. It's just like an oven of roasted garlic in your mouth. That is pretty much how it tastes. Okay, so that is it for me for this video. Um, if you guys know of any more uses for these foods or like typical recipes that you usually put it in, definitely link it in the comments um, down below. Let me know about it because I'm just I'm, I'm just kind of discovering these um, different types of spices now. And yeah, if you wanna see more taste tests like this, more of our get together powwow in this type of a, of a uh, scenario, let me know as well. And um, I will see you guys again real soon. Uh, with probably another recipe. Okay? <laughs> Alright, bye!